Alright, I'm here to show you another set of changes and updates made in the next gen edition of The Witcher 3. It is done! Starting with the ending of Hearts of Stone. We have another piece of evidence that inflation has set in within the world of The Witcher as well. Just as selling Siri now grants you 4000 crowns instead of 2000, the monetary reward from Gontor Odim is also twice as big. Originally 5,000 crowns, he now rewards 10k in the next gen edition. I want to be rich. Rich? Truly? Hmm, but now. But uh, alright, I gave my word. You asked, you shall receive. That should do the trick. What now? Off to find another poor fool? Haven't decided yet. Another thing I wanted to test was the demonic saddle, but sadly there doesn't seem to be any changes in the way Geralt talks to Roach, or any new lines for Roach during the quest where he talks in Blood and Wine. Yes, I'll be there for you ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Another notable change is the set bonus of the Grandmaster Wolf Armor. This has been one of my least used armor sets in the old generation, simply because I prefer the Manticore, I think the ability for bombs to crit is way cooler than whatever the wolf set is doing, making bombs faster, I guess. To tell you the truth, I can barely tell a difference. And the multiple oils on the sword is rarely useful. Perhaps if you fight a lesion or some other fight where you have multiple opponents of different types. In the next gen, however, it's all about bleeding. To maximize the potential, you'd have to take the last talent in the fast attacks column, as well as socket Devana runes in your swords. It is once again rather specific, but it is definitely more interesting than what we had before. And speaking of bleeding, let's talk about the Rend ability. Actually, I don't think Rend causes bleeding in The Witcher, uh, but it does in World of Warcraft. Anyway, there is indeed a change to the Rend in the next gen edition. A nerf, more specifically, they have now implemented a downtime period after the rend animation completes, in which, even if you have the resources required, you cannot start charging up another one. Which means the rend spam tactic is dead. Honestly, I don't think it was that broken. I mean, yes, you could kill Eridan with one button, but uh, that was more of an exception, really. Regardless, it's no longer possible. Next up, we have a much-needed fix, which is sadly not entirely fixed. You know how you would trip and roll down when you're going downstairs? Well, that has been fixed, provided that you are walking. Previously, it would happen regardless of whether you walk or run down the stairs, and sadly it still happens if you're running in the next gen, but walking down is fixed. Okay, next, something we all wanted. There is now a fast travel point within Crow's Perch. It becomes available only after you complete the Bloody Baron storyline, as far as I can tell. Which is a little sad, because the description talks about this being the home of the Bloody Baron, and yet we all know that he abandons it after the questline is done. Alright, next, something that many people have been telling me about, and I suspect that they are not entirely correct. They say that Geralt in the next gen has new lines in combat, mostly using as an example the I'm gonna hang your head from my saddle line. However, this isn't exactly new. It used to be exclusive to a quest in Blood and Wine, specifically Oriana's quest where you fight the Garcane. Gonna hang your head from my saddle, bastard. Now they simply turned it into a general combat phrase, and I believe there are a few more lines like that. Okay, what else? We have the newly introduced swords that scale with your level. I know of two cases currently. One is the sword Hattori crafts for you as a sign of thanks, which was criminally bad in the original, so I never actually used it. And the second one is Krach's sword, specifically the one he gives you during the Brothers in Arms quest to aid you at Kaer Morhen. A bit of a shame that both of them are steel swords, now, the scaling is slightly behind your current level. I assume this is so that you don't constantly use these swords and you can still find better stuff. But overall, I like the change. Both of these swords have a reason to be good, 
One of them is made by a master and the other one is legendary. It makes sense that they should be, you know, top notch. And speaking of that, the guy no longer says top notch swords. Top notch swords? Welcome, welcome. I mean, he did sell armor, but that line is iconic. I think someone on my Discord shared a mod that makes him say top notch swords again. I should probably get that. Top notch swords! And the final thing I have for you today is Margarita's model. If you talk to her after sailing to Skellige for the final stretch of the game, you can see that her bruises, the ones she got in prison, have now healed. Which makes total sense given that she's a sorceress. Okay, I just checked and it seems she's healed even before you set sail to Skellige. So that's all I had for you today. If this turns out to be my final video for the year, I wish you all a Happy New Year's celebration and a wonderful 2023. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and until the next one, stay tuned and be good. You and Triss have a good time? Splendid. We finally got the chance to talk. What about? Everything but you. Geralt of Rivia is no longer a subject of any interest to either of us. Thanks, Yen.